This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global and with Rocky Fielding. How are you feeling? What was kind of going through your head from the first body shot? I mean, you were up yeah. reasonably quickly. Yeah, I mean, just a little, just wearing all the big rib shots, just like the wind, no, just going for wind, just gone there, it's like, whoa, a little couple of seconds. Yeah, and then I just fighting back at them and just kept it long and then he was coming forward and if putting the shots together well and then catching me again so um no big major shots where he was I was like whoa you can not like that you know what I mean like rocked and that it's just them little body shots were getting me. I mean fair fair play to you 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 kept you kept getting up um yeah. and to a point where the referee kind of had to kind of step in and say, because you would have got up again. Yeah, um, yeah, and then obviously I took a few shots. The referee probably looked at it in that way as well and knew that would have been a caught in with some. But then um, he, he, um, he, I knew he, he, was, he was strong. He come at me and thought, oh, I've been for a long night here. And I mixed it and I shouldn't have, but um, I know, I'm gutted, but he's a lead fighter there, yeah, and I fell cold in there, and, and to fight him, and I tried my best, but he got me. Yeah, there were mo uh, moments in that fight where you were kind of, yeah, trading back with Canelo, but I suppose that was kind of what you needed to do at those points. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, you know, the game plan obviously me height and stuff to keep it long and that and then I caught a few jabs and then he got around and he got inside and I just, I thought I just looked into too a bit too much and I wanted to just stand there with him and, and fight with him and that and then my shots obviously when I'm doing that and then he, well, Catching him, but he, he caught me the, the sweetest shots on me, but it's a really fighter for you, isn't it? Uh, how would you assess his power? That's what I mean, because to the head shots, he was, no, he was like, as I said, he was not only like where I was going, like, whoa, he can bang you, it was just them, like, boom, boom, that was sweet one. So it was the body that, that really was catching me, but I wouldn't say, like, the power was. Big thump and you got a wall you know what I mean? It, it was just them clean, nice shots that, that get you, and that's what does the, the damage, doesn't it? Mm. It was some atmosphere at Madison Square Garden we tonight. Um, what was kind of going through your head in your ring walk, and then kind of when you were waiting for Canelo to enter the ring? I, I thought my ring walk was good. I thought I had the, that sweet Carolina yeah. I was bouncing, didn't it? I think I did. Um, I enjoyed it, like. You know, I just keep I said all we all have said from from where I have started off in boxing to do that, you know what I mean? It's big achievement and obviously I lost his gutter but I've had my family we here all week weekend fans all travel over, so it was some atmosphere, it was great and when he come and you know, I enjoyed it, like getting in there, you know what I mean? I enjoyed it all and um, Illusions go to, but you know, we is on the pound for pound, and even what can I do? If your phone rings, can I want to fight you? What do I say? No, or do I go and give it a go and be top of the bill here? And, and you'd probably do it again, yeah, definitely. That already mentioned something back here, and you or somewhere, or Frank mentioned, so I'll do it again and I'll go back and fight again. Do you know what I mean? And boxing, like. As Jamie was saying, you know, it's part of my life, you know what I mean? That is my life. But 
as I, you know, I keep saying, like where I cope started, I walked in all of this gym, do you know what I mean? And boxed on a sports centre selling tickets, sitting in car parks waiting for people to buy tickets and the defeat I got and then the setbacks and then I just kept working, got the opportunity to go to Germany, I took it, opportunity to come and do this, so you know, wake up tomorrow with my kids and bring them back down here and show them where to fall, they won't understand like but it's it's so special isn't it? Certainly is. This is not just the biggest stage for you, but in general in boxing, yeah. it doesn't come much bigger than fighting Canelo at Madison Square Garden. That's so kind of loved. the elite. But, <coughs> but you, even Buffett calling me name out, like they say to you, and Buffett calls you name. I say to you, Buffett calls you name, and you know. Buffett must have called your name before. Yeah. Well. You know, you've made it like to like tap him and buff the and No, you know when you made it when your lights are up in Times Square and Madison Square Garden. Yeah, your big head everywhere, Rock. Oh, with my cherries out with my tattoo. <laughs> Don't forget there's loads of Mexicans saying they're gonna get this tattoo that tomorrow. No um Yeah, like that's it. Everyone's enjoyed themselves, the traveling fans have come over, all my support you know well, they've got all the good week here, weekend. Families here. Yeah. Oh, what? It's a big, nice, good journey for me, you know what I mean? Go to the ball. I've experienced things that most fighters haven't, and experienced what the leaf fighters and legends have done. I've fought there, as I say, I've come here three years ago wishing I would. Yeah. All right, well, listen, I won't take too much of your time. Um, thank you for your time this week. Yeah, thank you as well. Um, Make on the idea of it. Frick. All right, I wasn't in Germany, but if you do go and, I don't know, if you fight in Germany again, I'll... Or wherever, I'll make sure I'm there. I'm always there anyway, Rock. No, oh, no, no. Apart from that time you know. in Germany, yeah. <laughs> do you know, what the, there's only one British journalist there, do you know? Who was it? What is it? That British journalist who always met, he messaged me saying, you know, I've done the British uh, media there. Dan, is it what his name? I don't know, Bob. Bob, 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 the other fella, yeah. Who? I've never seen him around. He's a little bit. That Preston skeezer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fair play though. No, he, yeah, to so say, yeah, he's better than coming over there. Yeah. He, he made an effort, didn't he? It's <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, uh, every time you can mention uh, it, you, it's you fine. know where you started off, don't you? Where yeah. did you start off? My f yeah, at Prize Fighter when you knocked everyone out. That's where I started. Uh, that's where Jane Couch started. Yeah. Sharp prank. So but it's true, actually, because Jane Couch was actually the one that. I went with Jane Couch there. Yeah, yeah. So that's actually, yeah, that's true. So it's a good journey. Big up yeah, Jane then. Couch. Like, you started the Prize Fighter, you first you, I started the Prize Fighter in my career, kind of, and then. We're at Madison Square Garden, yeah. you're interviewing me. I know, and just top but I haven't earned the money that you've earned for, for this, so, it's you know. Yeah. No, the paths have gone a little <laughs> bit different. 500 million <laughs> views, you, like, you're fucking flying. No, yeah, but, you know. Yeah, no, appreciate it, Ian. You know, I say thanks to Frank, Eddie, and Matthew, and that, that, um, get me the opportunities, and, you know, looked after me the week we've had, <laughs> before we come and stuff, with the passport, but, but yeah, you know, I say, my nieces, my team, and now we've, you know, we've all a good journey there. Yeah, and one we can look back, remember, have a good Christmas and and enjoy life and enjoy me time with my kids. Have a rest, see what's in 2019. Yeah, yeah, just have yeah. If I can rest me, man, I'll be probably thinking boxing while I'm away, but. No, but thanks, thank you. Thanks for all the, the, the support as well, the comment, thanks to um, the, the tweets and the messages that I've had. Appreciate it all and thank everyone for it. Rocky Fielding, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV again and wish you a Merry Christmas. And uh, we'll catch up in the new year, so yeah. go and have a little bit of time off. That's it. Merry Christmas to everyone. Come on.